What's up guys, Technova here for Surfer Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using mounts. Mounts is a plugin that adds highly customizable mounts to your server, allow players to buy and sell them at trader NPCs and spawn them at any time. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, select the spigot tab and search for mounts. Install a version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. While this plugin doesn't require other plugins to run, it does work well with Citizens 2, Citizen CMD, or any other trading NPC plugin. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the Install tab under Plugins. Once Mounts is installed, you won't see anything different in the game. The plugin isn't so straightforward at first, but it's not so bad. First, we actually need to own a mount. Doing slash mounts brings up a menu where we can spawn our mounts, but of course we don't own one yet. The plugin spigot page has some good documentation around the commands, so I'll be referring to that a bit. Using slash mount by space player name or slash m by player name brings up a GUI that allows players to purchase mounts. The Spigot page says it's meant to be run by the server as in a trader or NPC plugin. So I have an NPC over here that when I right click, it opens up the same menu. This is what they mean. Hovering over a mount shows us its cost, lore and traits. I'll click on one of the demo horses here to give it to myself, assuming I have enough currency. It can use items or currency from another mod using Vault. If I don't have the right items or currency, I'll get an error message in chat. Each horse has its own unique traits that you can configure. We'll be going through that later. Once one is purchased successfully, you'll get a green message in chat. Using slash mounts brings up a menu with our owned mounts. Clicking on one spawns us on it, and as soon as we get off, it vanishes back into our inventory. If a player owns multiple and doesn't want to go into the GUI every time, they can hop onto their favorite horse with slash mount. Of course, because I haven't told the server what my favorite horse is yet, it doesn't work. So I'll climb on my horse and I'll run slash M set. Then I can run slash mount and it'll automatically put me on my favorite horse at any time. To remove this favorite, we can use slash mount DEL or slash M DEL. Don't worry, this doesn't actually remove the horse from your inventory, it just resets the favorite setting. Slash mount cell followed by player name or M cell player name opens up an inventory where a player can sell their horses back. This command is also supposed to be added to a citizen or other store by you. Locate the config in the plugin folder. In here we have two folders, mounts, which is where our custom mount configs are stored, and players, which is where player data is stored. If you'd like, you can rather use MySQL, but we'll get into that in a second. Preset.yml contains player IDs and their favorite horse IDs, which is set in-game by using slash M set. And config.yml has all the settings for this plugin. At the top, we have the ability to add a SQL database to rather store players' mount inventories and favorites, but the plugin works just fine without a custom one set up. Messages are all the localization, meaning you can adjust the in-game messages and text to your liking or language. On line 29 and 30, we have sell shop title and buy shop title. These are used by citizen or shop plugin mods of your choice, usually by setting a store name to whatever is set here. For example, buy mount, it will automatically link it with this plugin's GUI. Neat. On line 84, we have the option to set sounds for players mounting or unmounting and even buying or selling mounts. On line 90, we can even set if players fall off their mount when damaged. Going back into the folders and into the mount folder, we have each mount that we can use in game. Opening an existing one, we can customize it to our liking. Everything here is rather self-explanatory. I'll go back to the folder and create a new file, test.yml. I'll paste in the sample config from the spigot page, remove the requirements, and I'll give it a crazy speed and jump multiplier. Referring to the spigot example, I'll spot it for myself in-game now. So I'll run mounts reload, mgive techno test mounts. And there we have it. I'll spawn it in and you can see we're zooming around on our custom horse. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.